Hi, good morning. Today I would like to talk about how God operates in our lives for us to choose Him out of our own free will. The story goes back to the Garden of Eden when God created Adam and Eve and gave them everything, a perfect garden and all provided by God. Bible says, and the Lord commanded the man saying, of every tree of the garden you may freely eat but of the tree of knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat. For in the day that you eat of it, you shall surely die. Genesis chapter 2 verses 16 and 17. Yet they were deceived by the Satan and lured into eating the fruit of this tree that God commanded not to eat. Next we know they got taken out of the Garden of Eden into the wilderness. On the 13th of December 2016, I was put together with my partner by God and we were so much in love. This was after my prayer to God with tears and sorrow asking for a partner to serve the Lord with me as a couple. However, if you listen to my testimony of Lord Jesus Christ, you will know that Jay, who is chosen for me by God, ran away from God and exchanged the glory of God to corruptible things. At this point, I would like to read from Romans chapter 1, from verse 18. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who suppress the truth in unrighteousness, because what may be known of God is manifest in them, for God has shown it to them. For since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Because although they knew God, they did not glorify him as God, nor were thankful, but became futile in their thoughts, and their foolish hearts were darkened. Professing to be wise, they became fools, and changed the glory of the incorruptible God into an image made like corruptible men and birds and four-footed animals and creeping things. Therefore God also gave them up to uncleanness in the loss of their hearts to dishonor their bodies among themselves, who exchanged the truth of God for the lie and worship and serve the Creator rather than the Creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. Four months later, after we were put together, on the 3rd of April 2020, I got given the knowledge in my dream that God has given Jay 45 days to respond to me in peace. The time was fulfilled on the 18th of May 2020, three and a half years later from the time God put us together. Yet he did not respond to me in peace. He was full of hatred and contention towards me. On that day, when the deadline arrived on the 18th of May 2020, I have dreamt an American woman who came to serve the papers on to Jay. At this point, I would like to state that the United States of America has the supreme authority over England and any other nations in the world due to their advanced faith. This knowledge I have been given by God. On the third week after papers being served on Jay, the spirit of mental illness literally jumped on Jay out of blue. A year prior to this, on the 19th of June 2019, I have stated this is actually what is going to happen to him. For he made falsified allegations against myself to the police, claiming I was out of my mind due to my belief in Lord Jesus Christ. And on the 14th of November 2020, I have dreamt Jay, who was in prison. He was in a hole, in a pit, then seen a harlot being sent down to the pit, who was showing her naked bottom to the Jay, who was crouching in the pit. The pit was very small. There was hardly any room to move. I meant to go and see him in the prison. I've seen the police, and they said, come with your ID. The pit itself was controlled by the police. That should tell you that the world organizations under the sway of the wicked one, hence the police force itself. On the next day, on the 15th of November, 
I have dreamt a message from Jay. He stated he is in Hayat Hotel in Kurtulish Izmir, which is in English. Hayat means life and Kurtulish means freedom. And Izmir is Smyrna, which is one of the seven churches of Revelation Lord Jesus Christ talks about. It is a persecuted church. Here is the Bible verses regarding it. Revelation chapter 2 from verse 8. And to the angel of the church in Smyrna write, These things says the first and the last, who was dead and came to life. I know your works, tribulation and poverty, but you are rich, and I know the blasphemy of those who say they are Jews and are not, but are a synagogue of Satan. Do not fear any of those things which you are about to suffer. Indeed, the devil is about to throw some of you into prison that you may be tested, and you will have tribulation ten days. Be faithful until death, and I will give you the crown of life. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. He who overcomes shall not be hurt by the second death. Thanks be to God. Amen. As Lord says in Revelation, the devil threw him into prison that he may be tested, and he will have tribulation for ten days. If he overcomes, he will receive the crown of life, and shall not be hurt by the second death. He will be set free. Two days later, on the 16th of November 2020, I woke up with the knowledge given that Jay has mental health problems. Jay and his dad, who made the false allegations to the police, claiming I was mentally ill due to my belief in the Lord, Three years prior to this, on 14th of December 2017, yet on the third year, that is actually what happened to himself. God has inflicted him with mental health problems and his dead with cancer. I say this to all of you, do not go against the Lord and his pleasing goodwill upon your lives. He is the Lord, the Lord of all lords, the King of all kings, the creator of the universe. He has all the power to set you free from all your bondages. If you only turn to him and accept him and walk with him for the glory of God the Father and the Son. Amen. May God bless you all in Christ Jesus. Amen.